Big buck. He's going right where we want him to, so I'm gonna make a quick move. Time to run, folks. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. What's up folks? We have switched gears. Um, we didn't film a whole lot this morning. Basically went out and tried to kill the big buck again. Saw him, uh, but he just outsmarted me. Just looped me like he's done about a hundred times this year. He's gonna get the muzzleloader treatment. We're gonna see what these elk cameras that we set are doing. Um, see what the, the elk are up to now that the temperatures have dropped a little bit and the bulls should be feeling a little more frisky. So good chance that uh, the elk have pulled in here, but we're gonna go check cameras set up for the evening and see elk hunting. Word of advice, word of advice from your friendly neighborhood Shed Crazy. Unlock your cards <laughs> before you put them in your cameras. So we just came to pull this card. Wallow has been obviously hit a lot. And uh, the card was locked and it got no photos. It's such a dumb little thing, but like, just always check and make sure. Check your camera to see if it took photos before you leave. It's so easy, but sometimes obviously we don't do it. But we know there's elk hitting. We know there's elk in the area. We're not sure what, but that's okay. Crap happens. Now if I can get through this next place without my PTSD of the bee stings taking over, we'll be in good shape.
accidentally call an elk when you think you're calling in people. I've had the opposite of that happen lots of times where I thought I had a bull coming in and it turned out being a dude. <laughs> this is the first time ever where I saw what I thought was a guy going through the trees. Looked like a guy in a black shirt. And it was a mudded up bull. And when he stepped out, I was totally expecting it to be a dude and uh, I was shocked as I'm sure you saw in the video but it's cool to see a bull like that if I would have had a little bit more time or a better angle I think maybe I could have got a shot at that bull he was standing at 68 yards and uh, I had the tree between me and him I could have knelt to shoot but I don't really love to shoot, shoot kneeling if I can avoid it and I just I mean it was a long shot either way I just was hoping that he would kind of lose interest in staring us down and we'd get a better chance at him but it's always fun when you see elk we ran into some buddies up there talked to troy boy they didn't say anything but uh, we'll coordinate maybe go hunt with him a little bit later in the week but fun video thank you guys for watching it thanks for following along uh the elk action should just get better from here we're gonna spend some more days on it i have a goal to punch an elk tag this week so we're gonna do what we gotta do to make it happen we may go chase them on uh, some better units but we'll see Anyway, thanks for watching this, guys, and we will see you on the next one.